When I was about seven or eight, all my friends were into Batman, Superman, Spider-Man, but me, I picked up a calculator and I would press the button until it would flash at me. And so I was pretending that I was some super mathematician. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> that, that, was, that was what I was playing at. When I uh, went to my career teacher, a number of years later when I was 15, he said to me, Naira, what would you like to be when you grow up? And I said, oh, uh, I would like to do a, uh, a job that involves mathematics and logic. What my career teacher said to me was, Naira, somebody of your physique should become a boxer. So I went home and I told my parents saying, look, my career teacher said I should become a boxer. And my dad said this to me, you don't need anybody's permission to be a great mathematician. Now that philosophy is what I live by. I do remember one time when I actually just went into a school just to, for let's say a charity, and it was mostly uh, you know, black children in that school, and they didn't do A-level mathematics yeah, at that school. And I just told them about my story about being a mathematician, and I pointed out to the window and saying, a number of years ago, See the house over there, that's where I was born. I was born just around the corner from, from this school and now I'm the president of the Institute of Mathematics and Application. And those children, they started screaming. That's what it meant to them. Our children, black children, are crying out for, for STEM and STEM influences and to be inspired in STEM, you know. They don't want to be overlooked and ignored. That's why it's important.